एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू जैकलेट एजुकेशनल चैनल सो दिस इज द यूनिट वाइज एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन क्रेसको सीरीज इन विच वी आर डीलिंग नाउ डेज विथ यूनिट एट विच इज एनवायरमेंटल असेसमेंट मैनेजमेंट एंड लेजिस्लेशन सो दिस इज द यूनिट एट ऑफ नेट एनवायरमेंटल साइंस सिलेबस एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द यूनिट एट पार्ट फोर्टी वन सो इफ यू हैवन चेक द प्रीवियस लेसन यू कैन चेक द लिंक गिव इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो लेट स्टार्ट टूडे विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई होप यू विल बी नोटिंग डाउन ऑल दिस थिंग्स बिकॉज इट विल बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन पर्पज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच आर द फॉलोइंग कैन बी कंसिडर्ड इन द एनवायरमेंटल रिस्क असेसमेंट सो रीड ऑल द ऑप्शन केयरफुली देन आई विल रिवील द आंसर एंड हियर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर फोर ऑल ऑफ द अब आर कंसिडर्ड इन द एनवायरमेंटल रिस्क असेसमेंट सो एनवायरमेंटल रिस्क असेसमेंट लेट एस टेक एन एग्जाम्पल इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द रिस्क ऑफ ए टॉक्सिक एलिमेंट सो वी शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ द एक्सपोजर पीरियड दैट मीन्स हाउ मच टाइम इट इज परसिस्टेंट इन द एनवायरमेंट नंबर टू इज पोटेंसी ऑफ द टॉक्सिक मेटेरियल दैट मीन्स इज कंसेंट्रेशन वट इज इट्स पावर एंड पोटेंसी वी शुड ऑल्सो कंसिडर ड्यूरिंग एनवायरमेंटल रिस्क असेसमेंट Finally, the quality of models which we are using for this assessment also should be considered for the environmental risk assessment program. So, all of the above are the reason which should be considered in this environmental risk assessment. Let's move to the next question. The next question is: This is very tricky question. You should be aware and you should be very much attentive to answer this. The question is. Dash launched the eco labeling scheme that is Eco Mark in nineteen ninety one in India. So you have to find which of the following organization launched the Eco Mark in nineteen ninety one. And here, the correct option is option number A. Yes, Minister of Environment and Forest, now which is called as Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change of Government of India, launched this eco labeling scheme of India that is called as Eco Mark. in 1991 so many of you will be confused that why it is not bureau of indian standard that is bis actually bis issues the eco mark according to the notification of 1991 but this scheme was launched by the ministry of environment and forest so it is a very useful information try to note it down let's move to the next question the next question this question came in the net 2012 examination and the question was what is the importance of the 42nd amendment to the constitution brought in the year 1976 and here the correct option would be option number 3 yes the inclusion of article 48a and article 51a brought the importance for the environment in our country by the amendment of the 42nd amendment of our constitution in the year 1976 so we should know what is article 48a and article 51a because questions are often asked from these two article and let's see one by one so as per the article 48a it is the duty of the state that is in the country to protect and improve the environment and to safeguard the forest and wildlife and improve the natural environment of our country but what is article 51a it is stating that the citizens are required to protect and improve the natural environment including the forest lakes rivers and wildlife so the article 48a tells about the duty responsibility of the state whereas 51a states the responsibility and duty of the citizen so this is the narrow difference between these two articles let's move to the next question the next question is which of the following is true when the frequency of occurrence of risk is remote but possible so try to read every options carefully and here the correct option will be option number a risk is acceptable according to the risk management when the frequency of occurrence of risk is remote that means the risk of occurring of any hazard is in distance but it is possible so we can accept that risk but here to confuse you it is given that both a and c that means risk is acceptable and we should take certain measure for reducing the risk so it should not be considered only option number a will be the correct option let's move to the next question the next question came in net 2012 examination and the question was the motor vehicles act of 1939 in india 
was amended in which of the following years? And here, the correct option will be option number D. In the year 1988, the Motor Vehicles Act 1939 was amended. And you should also know this 1939 Act was the replacement of the first such Motor Vehicle Act in India, which was enacted in 1914. So from 1914, it was amended in 1913, then it was amended in 1988. Let's move to the next question. The next question is a match the following in which we have to match with the correct audit phase with the activities included in the audit phase. So identify which will match with which option. And here pre-audit phase will match with the reviewing audit checklist. That means pre-audit, that means before the audit what we have to check, we have to check the checklist. Checklist means what are the list we have to do stepwise for the audit purpose? We have to review that before the audit starts. Number two is on-site audit. So when we are at the site for auditing, we have to check the records and documents and we have to review them. So on-site audit will match with records, documents review. And finally, post-audit. Post-audit means if the audit is over, after that, it will be having the activity of human input-output analysis in relation to economy. That means what is the input by the humans and what will be the output and what will be the effect of that process of that project on the economy. So I hope you are clear. Let's move to the next question. The next question is coming from the EIA and the question is among the following which one does not belong to EIA process that means environmental impact assessment which process is not belonging. And here, the correct option which does not belong to the EIA process is developing environmental management system auditing procedure. So it is not under the EIA process, but these three things are coming under the EIA process. So you should know all this, that is establishment of baseline environmental condition, identification, prediction and assessment of the impact of that project, suggesting the mitigation measures. So what should be done to avoid any circumstances, any problem in future that should be suggested with the help of EIA process. The next question again is the match the following in which we have to match with the components along with their dimension and this question came in net 2013 examination. So here it is very easy if you know one by one we will be able to match everything. So let's start with the toxic group. So here it is given elimination of toxic substances. So toxic means it is related to environment. So it will match with the environmental dimension. Similarly, if we are going for the number one that is equitable utilization of natural resource. So everybody should be equally and equitably utilizing the natural resource. So it is done by the political dimension. So politically it is recommended and it is utilized. Next thing is benefit to the disadvantage group. So this will match with the social dimension because to help the disadvantage group in the society, social dimension, we have to match with that. Next thing is creation of additional value. So this creation of additional value, which is the component will match with the economic dimension. So additional value means it value will increase, the economic value will increase. So it will relate to the economic dimension. So like this you can match if you don't know at all anything about any questions which come in net exam. Let's move to the next question. The next question is, which of the following statements is correct in context of environmental impact assessment? So last question which we dealt, it was telling which is not according to EIA, but here it is telling which is correct as per the environmental impact assessment. And here, the correct option will be option number D. Yes, according to the focus area, that means we should focus on the standard agenda for the EIA. That means there are standards which are laid for the EIA, certain procedures are there. We have to follow all these standards for doing any environmental impact assessment. So no need to look into all these three options because it can confuse ourselves. Let's move to the next question. The next question is coming from the LCA and the question is quantifying the energy and the raw material requirement as a part of life cycle assessment is termed as what? So these are all the stages in LCA 
and you have to say the quantification of energy and raw material deals with which of the following step and here the correct option will be option number C life cycle inventory is the step in which we have to quantify the energy and the raw material required for any project as a part of life cycle assessment that is LCA. So these were some of the important questions which we discussed from the unit 8 of the syllabus of net environmental science. I hope you have learned something new. If you like this don't forget to subscribe the channel to get further updates.